Storm Tracker weather starts now with meteorologist Joey Bianconi. All right, welcome back, everybody. We can see things on our camera now. It's a nice sunrise out there. The air quality has improved 52 degrees to start the morning here in the capital city. Great Falls, we are just a little bit cooler at 50 with a little bit of a southwest wind there. The radar is mostly quiet this morning, aside from a couple of showers near Winnet and Lewistown. We had some lightning earlier, but no active lightning with these showers right now. So the severe threat has been shaved off now. No more severe threat uh, for southeastern Montana. It wasn't really looking very impressive anyways. Very isolated in nature, and it looked generally like rain showers up near the Glendive and Glasgow area. So that is good news, not dealing with the severe threat anymore. So future track, we still going to have that cold front that pushes from Canada down southward. It will generate a few thunderstorms and showers, but again, no severe threat. Could see a few of these storms on the stronger side, maybe a few stronger wind gusts, but very isolated. Could get a storm as far west as Helena today, but aside from that, we're going to be dry going into the rest of this week and into this weekend. A couple light showers up in the northeastern corner of the state to start out tomorrow, and that's it. It's going to be very dry for the remainder of the week. We will be dealing with some wind associated with the cold front as it pushes through. We'll have a wind, north wind of about 15 to 25 miles an hour, maybe gusts of up to 35 miles an hour. So we do have a lake wind advisory for Fort Peck Lake. So if you're out there on the boats today, just be aware that it might be a little gusty at times. But with that wind shift out of the north, we're not going to be dealing with that wildfire smoke, at least for the time being. Maybe some light smoke from fires associated with southwest Montana, but the big fires out in central Idaho, that smoke will stay into Idaho. So much improvement in our air quality. We're already seeing that this morning. Lots of western Montana in that good to moderate range, but we do have a few locations out in northeastern Montana that are unhealthy for some sensitive groups. We do have a little bit of thicker smoke out there as we did have a southwest flow yesterday, but when that cold front pushes through, it's going to push away all the smoke as well. So here's an update on some fires for you. The Sherritt Creek fire hasn't grown 3% contained, so at least there is some improvement on that, but it is a very large and active fire. Jumping over to the Ratio Mountain fire, 54% contained, so that has been upgraded just a little bit. It also has grown slightly on a uh, few flanks there. The McElwain fire upgraded to 60% contained just to the west of Helmville. And then on the borders of Powell and Lewis and Clark County, Marsh Creek fire, this one is a difficult one. 88 acres burned, no containment just yet. Firefighters are not on the ground on this one. They are actually in the area of the homes around this fire because it is so dangerous uh, with all that dead and dry timber down there. There's no really escape if they were to fight the fire head on. But it is going to be hot coming up this weekend, so fire conditions are going to be concerning. So if you're out there maybe camping, hiking, Recreating in the mountains, just make sure you have a way to put out campfires uh, if you are making one. 70s and 80s for our highs today. Isolated thunderstorms in central and eastern Montana. And then we will be dry Thursday through pretty much the weekend. An isolated storm chance on Sunday, but the next real rain chance is going to be Tuesday.